Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2017. I'm sitting down with Frank DiLorenzo from r and Games, and you brought us uh, Mike Fitzgerald's latest game, Dragon Island. That's right, Dragon Island by Mike Fitzgerald is uh, coming out at Gen Con. This is the preview, sneak preview copy. So uh, it's kind of like a, an open world fantasy exploration game, and uh, your wizard sent to an island uh, that's kind of shrouded in mystery, but you know there's a lot of treasure, you've heard tale of treasure. So you're there to basically discover the treasures, uh, or gather the gold, and capture some dragons, maybe tame some dragons, deal with dragons, because this is an island infested with dragons. So. Definitely seems to be a reoccurring theme. It is. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the game starts, you basically have a wizard's keep where you uh, were able to teleport into the island. But you've also built yourself a little keep of your own, uh, where you store your treasure maps, basically. So uh, if you ever want to get more treasure maps, you always go back to these spots. Um, but this is an exploration game, so we're going to start spreading the island out as we go. Uh, everyone has a screen. Um, you pull one tile on your turn uh, to start, and basically at the end of every turn, you're going to get another tile to, to work with. Uh, everyone has a dragon pen. This is where you can uh, set up a spot to capture dragons. And you start with one treasure map in your hand. Um, basically, the game is played that I, I place a tile. I might put it here. I will immediately generate resources from placing a tile. So this one would generate the color blue and everything it touches. In this case, it's blue, white, and this is uh, considered a yellow tile because it's only for, good for gold. So gold being yellow, I would take that. Uh, I would get two blue and a white. white. And now I'm on my way to amassing some resources to do some stuff that wizards do. <laughs> um, uh, I can then move on to the board. And once I'm on the board, I will always be moving one space at a time. And until I'm going to put your guy face down so people oh, so can, can see that it. they're right. awesome right. wizard wizard eples. Right. And I can move to my wizard's tower or I can move to the wizard's keep. and. In this case, I would move the wizard's cape because I want gold early on in the game, so I take gold for my turn. And if there were dragons around, I might be able to deal with them, but there's nothing there right now. Uh, later on, as the game progresses, and we start putting out more and more tiles, so we might see stuff like this happen, this might be happening. And you'll notice they all have different symbols on them. So these things are stormed. They're kind of a hazard for everyone else, so if you play it, you're kind of safe from it, but everyone who has a pet dragon will lose gold. Gold is what keeps a dragon your pet. That you lose sense. all the gold off the dragon, he flies away. <laughs> but all the dragons have these cool dragon powers. So once you have one of those pets, you actually put the card of the pet out, like this. You put the dragon on it. Red so pet dragon. Let's say I tame that dragon, and I put my uh, dragon on it with the gold that I paid him to become my pet. And from then on, I can now fly to his color square instead of moving one space at a time. I can also get to that space and move an extra space. Because any teleportation of flying, you can always move one extra space. Um, the uh, other power he has is that if I ever need to capture a dragon, he allows me to use one less active energy. And this is that energy that I've been collecting here. The active energy is basically energy around where I am. So if I was here, then red, blue, white would be the colors of my active energy that I could pay with. Uh, if I was over here, it would be only blue and red. Uh, and whatever color this wild tile is. This is a wild tile. When you place it, you actually put a color tile on it and it shows permanently what that color is. But perhaps I would have placed it like this. Oh, look at that, dragons. Oh. Whenever you place dragon tiles, you check for any empty space and dragons pop up. <laughs> so here's another empty space over here. We would have a dragon over here. Let's see, no more dragons for now. Already it's starting to populate with dragons. So dragons are a problem because you can't move to a square that has dragons on. You gotta deal with them. So if I were to come here, maybe that's where I got my pet dragon, all right, that I had by taming this guy, paying gold to get him. And now I can use the secondary action, which is I could build something there. What do I want to build there? Well, I might want to build that pen to capture dragons. I might want to build an energy spire, which is worth a lot of victory points. Um, I could build a dragon lair. That's a special type of place where only one of each color can be built. And I then put my little pet dragon 
he's back in the supply because he's hiding in the lair. <laughs> Those storm hazards I talked about, nice. they don't affect me anymore. So a lot of different actions that you can do here. There's the build. The my one really fun aspect about this is we're trying to get gold and fame in this game. So capturing dragons, you get fame. Right? These little fame markers here are your victory points. Right. So I can build stuff for fame. I get more fame. That's cool. But <laughs> hey, yeah, I want gold too. I want gold and fame. Well, that's why you use the treasure card. So for example, I had a treasure card here that says uh, I need to be on a gold space. Uh, and there is no gold space here. None of these are gold. I need yellow for gold. So this is like a worthless card to me until gold appears. But how about this one? Here's a lake card, and this says that I have to be on a lake, and it has to be surrounded by two lakes and a plane. Well, guess what? If I were to move my little wizard here, I'm on a lake. There's one lake here, and it planes here. So if I were to play this card, you or tile, have that prerequisite. I could then move my wizard to this thing and say, you know what, at the end of my turn, I found treasure on this, uh, on this little part of the island, and I'm going to get two fame and two gold immediately. So I turn that in, I get my fame and my gold, and now we mark it by tossing the old map to the ground. <laughs> so the other wizards know, haha, I was there, I dug it up already. <laughs> right? So obviously treasure can't be found there again. Uh, so there are a lot of different strategies in this game that you can use to get your gold and fame. You can do the treasure map route. You can capture lots of dragons by stuffing them into a pen and then coming in and capturing them all. You can capture dragons individually. Uh, you want to try and get lots of multiple colors of dragons because they're worth more points as an individual capture. But Let's talk a little bit about the production value of this. Well, yeah. I, I, I want people to note that like, these are not cardboard, no. you know, like flimsy cardboard. No, no, no. These are solid, solid. like two millimeter yeah. they're inch. Not gonna, they're not going to topple over that easily unless you go like that. So. Um, one of the things that we had commented on when you laid it out was the, uh, that you guys have a really nice lost bag that comes with the game. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And it's very thick tiles. These are not going to warp on you no. like some other tiles I know. <laughs> uh, the card stock, really good. Excellent card stock. Beautiful card. Yeah, no, the and artwork. artwork. Yeah, we spared no expense on this. Lots of dragon meeples. There's a whole bag of dragon meeples. <laughs> Got and, the wizards. and wizards. <laughs> yep, the wizards. Uh, it's, it's basically something we put a lot into because we wanted it to look really nice. Uh, and it, yeah, it's not a long game, you know, you can probably play this once you know how to play in about an hour. And how many players? Oh, this is two to four. Okay. Yeah. Frank, say, thank you so much for letting us take a look, and if oh, you yeah. guys want to check that out, this, this is will, Drag Dragon Island yeah, by and, it, and it will be coming out at Gen Con. We'll right. have this at Gen Con ready to go. Dragon's coming up soon. Perfect. Wow. Is that just one? Spouted a lot. Hmm? I spouted a lot. <laughs> See? You settled in. I'm going to lift the board up yep. so that way we can uh, Perfect. tidy at your leisure. Sure. We're just going to do like a hey, thanks, thanks Frank thing okay. um, just in case something was um, okay. uh, grumpy on Lincoln's end. So just pretend as if we just wrapped up. So. Right. Well, Frank, if, uh, thank you so much for letting us take a look. And a if you guys want to check that out, this is Dragon Island by R&R &R Games. And it's coming out at Gen Con this year. It's going to basically be our big release for Gen Con. All right, so Dragon's coming up soon. And Mike Fitzgerald will be there. Hey. <laughs>